My name is Ronaldo. People know me as Airbus. I'm from Brazil. I'm an engineer and I also have a company uh, related to the hardware. I started, I started to overclock about 10 years ago, or maybe a little bit more, and to find the max I can give to the hardware and to push the limits. Uh, because it's something uh, I, I saw uh, many years ago, uh, seeing Chamino doing crazy stuff in his hardware. So this, uh, this was like an inspiration to me. So uh, I entered and never more live. All my, my overclocking life was focused for the rankings and world records and so on. Uh, about two years ago, after uh, the Pro League, Pro, Pro, Pro League uh, live in, in Hardware Butch, I, I started to overclock only for records and to find new way to bring more people for the overclocking community. So uh, the reason uh, I do overclocking and teach overclocking now is to bring more people focused to the gamers. Then we can find a, a huge community that respect the overclocking and looking for new things to do and even to, to improve their performance in gaming, to have better gaming experience. I think every single record, every single amazing score is very special for me. So I think the next one will be the best. I think it, because uh, the community and the, the things is all changing. For example, a few years ago, you have not too much smartphone, no power of smartphone, tablets, and so on. So uh, the developers and also the, the all things is changing. So uh, overclocking also need to change. Before, people are more focused to numbers and, and more crazy people doing overclocking. The people are more, I don't know if the term is correct, but more crazy. But now uh, you, we can see uh, gamers, usual gamers in, in hydrocooling, even in air cooling, trying to improve in gaming experience, improving uh, the, the, performance uh, the, the performance of their personal computers. And, and not only for uh, crazy guys, uh, I will change my, my computer and do crazy stuff. So uh, we also need to, to, to drive to the, the, to drive this way. Uh, it's sure we have different level of overclockers. So the biggest one is the enthusiast community. So the guys that really love and, and really to push to the max, they will move to the, the extreme league. This is, uh, this is usual. And uh, every time we'll be biggest uh, this, this kind of, this, this way. Today, uh, I think the better way is to find 3D overclocking because the, uh, something in 2D overclocking are getting old. It's not because I don't like uh, benchmarks like SuperPi. I love SuperPi 32, for example. But uh, if you want to grow the community, you, ne you need to, to show nice things. Uh, I really like uh, uh, SuperPi 32, but if you show to a newcomers Windows XP and the, uh, calculating numbers, so it's not the same to show, to show uh, high frames per second, the nice benchmarks and so on. So I think uh, we need to separate uh, the old school, that's night I like, for the 3D and, and the highest level uh, benchmark 3D uh, for today, like Fire Strike, uh, Unique in Heaven, and so on. And if you talk about the, the league, is that uh, hardware league needs to give more power, not only for rich guys that can buy a four titans and this is the guy, because uh, there are very few people. You are losing a lot of people. So you, even a, a, a simple car that the guy squeezed to the max, hard mode the car, do, do his maximum, uh, he need to be considered at the highest level. 
because uh, we are talking about knowledge and not about money. And we cannot accept things like engineering samples, CPUs, sorry. This is stupid to me because uh, if I cannot buy one thing, cannot be valid in a league. I cannot buy, but they can have. It's not fair. I think uh, Hardware Butch is doing a very right way now because it's doing things like esports overclocking. This is modern, this is, this is nice for the people. You need to show uh, not too much rows, not too much, uh, not much hard. You need to be light, bring more people. It's not just to be too much serious. I will explain one thing. In my country, I'm not the only doing overclocking in fire strike, for example. Uh, I do comparisons, I do uh, analysis in, from hardware computer, and the way you can bring more people, for example, is playing GTA 5 in the under stream overclocking by side uh, machine in a uh, usual, usual machine running, in, in running air cooling or water cooling. So people go, oh, this guy is crazy, see, it's two times more, more fast, this, this computer. So, this way, uh, we can bring much more people. So I think the best step and the next step should be to move uh, for the gaming benchmarks. We need to have and you need to keep Firestrike streaming, for example. But you need to put games for Metro Last Light, Tomb Raider, uh, Shadow of Mordor, GTA V and uh, Lightly for gamers, so the gamers will join to Overclocking League. If I can talk to newcomers, my advice is do not stop because it's very nice and you never more can stop. Taipei is, is a crazy country, I love Taipei because it's very, it's very related to hardware and I love hardware. So uh, I feel at home here because it's, it's like a, a dream to me. You can find the best video cards, best, best CPUs, best all, and very good prices if you compare it with my country. Uh, I talk this because in my country everything is very hard, it's very expensive. So when, when we are in a place like this and we have a lot of good overclockers and good friends together, we cannot believe, uh, we don't, sorry, we cannot forget, it's, it's, it's very good for us.